Hello and welcome to Martinsville. We are in the fixed late model series here today. And I'm cautiously optimistic because Martinsville, while usually a horrible experience on iRacing, um, the late model here has actually been one of the few cars, a few uh, combos that have actually been kind of okay here. So. Um, I'm a little bit optimistic green flag, green flag. that we'll be able to get some okay, good racing in. Good. But I also understand it is Martinsville at the end of the day, so... I guess I can't be too disappointed if we end up having a bit of a mess out here. Feeling okay-ish on pace. I messed up three and four there pretty bad, though. That was not great. I got that to turn pretty well. Let's see how this goes on lap, or the three and four on lap two. Eh, spotty. So from a 506 to a 457. That's not so bad. That's pretty close to the best I can do. Um, best I had in practice was a 407. So to get into the fours, I'm feeling okay. So. Not so bad. We are the number one car here. Um, had 20 or so people signed up, so I believe it split maybe just once. 2.1 strike the field according to Race Labs here on the top left. So, a little on the lower side, but maybe not the worst. I think a lot of people are watching the Super Bowl right now. Um, I think that's started by now. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm more into racing and football. <laughs> racing and baseball are kind of my thing. So, I hope everyone's having a fun time, but I'd rather be here on iRacing at the moment. And, uh, wow, look at that. Ten, a thousandth of a second we are in the pole right now. Are on the pole. Very, very close. A little word out out qualified myself here because I have trouble being consistent on short tracks, and that's an important thing to have is consistency to be successful. So, a little concerned that I might have out qualified myself a little bit, and guys are going to be beaten down my bumper. But I'm just going to hold my line, do my best to uh, not make any slip ups. And hopefully hold on to as many spots as I can. We might end up bounced to the outside. Well, the two finished. I was going to say the two still had to do a lap, but he looks like he got a P4 for his efforts. So I'm waiting on the six then. Seems to have gotten incidents. The end of the session. You're on pole. Well okay, we got the pole. All right. Just barely, barely. But we did do it. I left my brake bias at default, actually, at the 60%. You'll be lining up I messed around with lowering it as well, but I found that uh, the brakes being kind of weak in this car to begin with, you know, you kind of just want to get as much power out of the braking as you can so you can really drive in there. And uh, that's kind of where I found myself. And uh, apparently it's good enough for short run. We'll see how the right front likes it long run, but I don't know how to save tire all that well anyway on short tracks. So we're just going to have to do the best we can here. I'm going to do all-time optimal to start with, and if I find the chance, I will switch to last lap. But I uh, don't want to get run over. C-class or what? Yeah, D class series. Got the answer up there for him in there in the chat. I believe it's D class. Go, go. All right, two to green. Everybody getting gridded up. We are very lucky we didn't end up on P2, my least favorite starting spot. Just a thousandth off right there. 
And of course, being on the outside would not be great either. The guy starting directly behind me is a B class 3.0, which is not bad. But hopefully he does not get into the back of me either. I notice he has a Dale Jr. scheme, which is... <laughs> As far as I know, it doesn't have the same reputation as maybe the Dale Earnhardt schemes that uh, tends to be a bit messy. So hopefully we'll be okay. Stay behind the pace car in the inside lane. Second gear start, it looks like. I'll try not to. You got a couple of people starting from the pits, I think, which is pretty interesting on a in a uh, Series with no cautions, so they're really expecting a big mess. I assume. Maybe just trying to get safety rating. We're doing the last race. race. With me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure who he's talking to. But I'm gonna go kind of uh, as soon as we get around to the exit of turns three and four, or I guess the exit of four. Probably when I'll start going. Would like to get as much room as possible before turn one, so that way I don't get hit. It's always a concern. So we'll uh, try to keep a steady 40 until it's time to hit the gas. That'll work. All right, we're off. Don't spin it on the apron. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Okay. Keep it together now. The uh, seven has gotten clear behind us. And uh, he might have better overall pace. The guy behind is just so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Almost a f we're over a full yeah, second. He says I'm clear high, but I don't believe him. You're leading. We're good, John. I don't remember what's saying. Oh yeah, a second, over a second back to third. So that's good news. Good lap. That's your best in the session. We are actually pulling away a little bit at the moment. I'm just running Q laps right now, though. So tires might hate me later, but that's fine. I accept that. Trying to get on the throttle a little bit mid-corner, just a tiny bit, to keep it rolling, but still being patient before I get back on it fully for the exit, so that way I can take a lower exit. That seems to be doing well for me. Keeping as close to that bottom line as possible without hitting it like I did early on. That's not a good thing when you do that. Because I did spin myself in practice at one point doing that. So let's not do that here. But if I can Colton avoid. Time was at 20.6. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. And I think we're in a good spot. I'm enjoying how much space we got down to third. Because even if this guy passes me, I can file in behind him. Second place would be fantastic if I can still pull that off. But I'm gonna try to hold on to this lead as long as possible because that feels nice. Trying to get session last lap up. You've just done a twenty point six. Yeah.
Let's try to be consistent. It's a big good corner. Trying to drive in hard, but keep it on the bottom. Really helps to get a good angle into the corner. I was trying to focus on getting my best entry as possible. By getting my right side near the wall. I tend to be a little bit too scared of the wall, but you gotta get the best angle you can in these races. Suddenly looking pretty good though. Seven maybe uh, got out of sorts for a little bit. Missed his marks a time or two. Best thing I could see is if they start battling back there. Did he maybe uh, get the wall or something? He really lost pace all of a sudden real quick. But I, I did find that I liked the brake bias being forward because I was getting kind of sideways mid-corner, being on the brakes and turning at the same time. And that still happens if I drive a little bit too hard in. So i got to watch out. But uh, being able to control that looseness that I get can be a good thing, too, because that's getting the rotation we need to make it through the corner as quickly as possible. That's a pretty good one. He's got to do this a whole bunch more times. Though not all that many. We're actually through 15 laps already. These races, of course, aren't too long. Feeling good. Car thankfully isn't feeling like it's getting too crazy tight or anything. Not loose or tight. This car can get loose sometimes, it seems like. Your lap times are pretty consistent. About two seconds back now. This is almost reminding me of uh, Nashville Fairgrounds when we came here in the late Model Fix series. Just minus the... Uh, Huge wreck early on. That really helped me out. But uh, I'm feeling pretty surprised at how this is going at the moment. It's cool that we can get a series here on iRacing where you can drive Martinsville and it's not just an absolute disaster. Because just about every other series, that's what you get here. I gotta be careful, this guy is maybe catching up to me just a bit. That being the three. So I gotta keep making sure I'm hitting my marks. So we're only now halfway through. Alright, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. I left my uh, steering ratio at default as well, the 10 to 1. Seems to be uh, getting the job done. We will have lap traffic before the end of this one as well, it looks like. That, of course, could be interesting. Hopefully they'll give us some room. The gap too far behind is now 1.8 seconds. One point nine back to one there.
That lap time was 20.8. A little bit cautious on the throttle. That turn could have been a little more aggressive with it. There, I was on the brake a little too long. It's just these really minor things that can change your whole corner up. it to be so precise. And you gotta do it. I don't know how many times. I guess you'll, you'll enter a corner, so one turns one and three. You'll do that twice a lap, 40 laps, so you got 80 times you gotta do that process, plus getting back on the throttle exactly right. So then you get 40 times four, 160 times. <laughs> And that's just uh, what you're doing with the pedals. When you really break it down into the components of what you're doing. Lots of variables. But you gotta try to just get into the rhythm, get correct so many times in a row. Feeling okay though. I think as long as I can avoid making any major mistakes, the guy behind's got a lot of ground to make up. I'm running out of time, at least a bit. As so we're gonna have 12 to go coming up. This hasn't really been too crazy interesting from my perspective, unfortunately. Um, I mean, it is fortunate in terms of results here, because it's looking pretty good. Maybe a little less exciting, though, so I apologize for that. The gap to bar behind is now 2.0. Not the type to throw for content. <laughs> start messing up on purpose so you got someone to battle. Nah. I've heard of people doing that kind of thing in video games. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone doing that on like iRacing, but Great job. To go. people making things interesting because they're content creators. I don't know about all that. The guy behind certainly fast. I haven't been able to let up because any time I even just slightly miss the corner, I can tell he's getting a little bit closer. So there really isn't much room for error if I want to maintain the gap I have, which I do. Last thing I need is him feeling close enough that he can make a dive on me at the end of the race or something. That felt like a pretty good corner. I'm glad I decided to switch from the low brake bias because I was kind of struggling to get the laps I wanted to hit. And I'm like, man, I just, I feel like I can't be as stable as I need to into braking. So I moved my brake bias back up all the way and uh, definitely I think was the way to go. I was worried about, you know, saving the right front or something, but I'm not feeling anything. Uh-oh. It's around this corner. Okay, we're good. That's always scary. Car stopped down low. Down low is where I need to be on a short track. That's always a little bit frightening. But just a guy that maybe spun. That was actually the number two, so that's unfortunate for him. He's probably going to lose like a hundred I rating. If not more, I've been there. I've actually had some very good luck lately, though. Uh, my last 10 races, I noticed, on my uh, iRacing profile, like on the website and stuff. Zero incidents past 10 races that show up there. I don't know if the streak is longer than that or if it stops exactly at 10, but so far, this is 11 in a row, zero incident races. And that's something I do feel proud of, because I, I do care about being a safe driver, so I care more about that probably than even the actual finishing results. So that's something I can feel good about. Three to go. You've just done a 20 Don't drive it in too hard. That was the first time it felt like it got a little bit loose. 
think I just drove it in a little bit too hard and was going a little bit too fast by the time I got to mid-corner. Don't need to do that. I certainly don't need to be pushing 110% right now. We have a little bit of buffer room that we can work with. In fact, I might not even pass these lap cars if I reach them, depending on when I actually get there. I should hopefully not even need to mess with that. White flag, nice and smooth. Well, white flag. One more lap for the win. Come on. Feeling pretty darn good about this one. Never had to actually uh, pass these lap cars up here. I'm gonna actually cross the line before I start saying anything. All right, we did it. Okay. Great win. Nice. Don't really do much better than that. Pole led every lap. Won the race, zero incidents. Of course, I'm the number one, so. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. That's what uh, is theoretically supposed to happen, but we'll give them a good race. Neato. What were the tires? 92.90. Wow, look at that. The right rear, actually. So even with driving as basically as hard as I could into the corner and with the brake bias all the way up we still were on the right rear so that seems to be the way to go for sure keeping that brake bias at default at 60 because it doesn't go any higher than that so i think that's uh kind of the way you want to go about it look at that though that's a very clean race especially for martinsville not a single 4x on here either which would be car to car contact so We'll see if there actually were any uh, collisions or anything. But from what I saw, it looked pretty darn good. So what we got, lap five, just a little bit of wall there. I think all of what we might get are, uh, yep, those, wall hits on exit. And then we might get someone hitting the apron and spinning. We did see a spin earlier. That's just a net code hit. That's not even a real hit. Five, pushing out wide just a bit. Ooh, okay, so the 14 got in a little hard and then it got loose under braking. I don't know if he changed his brake bias or not, but that's what it was kind of looking like whenever I was trying to drive in harder with lower brake bias. That's rough for him because he needed to gather it back up and was helping people get back around him. So the three, getting the wall a little bit. He eventually passes for second. And then trying to catch me, he goes a little bit wide on exit. That helped me get some time. Five, getting a little bit of apron. They're like sliding through the exits of the corners. It looks like there's like tire tracks coming off. I wonder if even my car was doing that or not, but Steve 14's up way up top probably not much grip up there. Is this where the two spins? Yeah, look at that this Car's sideways all the way through almost so I'm thinking he probably just uh, got in too hot, got it sideways. This is what I was experiencing when I was uh, when I would drive in too hard. And back when I had the brake bias farther back, he could easily have it at 60, but just drove in too hard and it still did this to him. But it looks like he kind of just tries to drive through it, and being sideways like that is just turning the right the turning the rear tires into volcanoes. They are so hot right now, and they are not going to want to grip up for him, and so. Just no way he could uh, hold on to that, and that really stinks for him because he was in sixth place, and now look, no one else was even a lap down. So, that really stinks. That was the only major mistake of the race, perhaps, other than the guys that started in the pits, because that ended up being not a very good idea either. Because most of what, what else we're seeing... I mean, even the wall taps are barely anything. 
We got the last lap going on here. The three getting into the wall. The seven. Does he make the pass? I actually don't remember who finished second looking at the leaderboard. Does the seven get him? Look at that. It's a drag race to the line. And the seven actually got him. I didn't notice. How about that? And it was a, it was a clean pass, too. So, like, this is probably the cleanest Martinsville race I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I was talking about how last time I did this combo, it was clean. And that was with the caveat that uh, someone flipped over in that race. <laughs> so that was the clean race. And yet, that was much better even. So uh, that really couldn't have gone much better. Um, maybe not the most interesting um, in the world, unfortunately. So I hope you still enjoyed anyway, as we had ourselves a nice little drive. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.